I get access to 4 p.m. late checkout. So if I'm going to a conference, if I'm going to a little personal trip, I don't have to worry about waking up early. I can sleep in. I get access to room upgrades upon availability, including suites. So if they have suites available, they'll bump me up, even if I just booked the regular room. So I went to FinCon and I was in the Sheraton over in New Orleans. And I was up on the 42nd floor with views over the entire city of New Orleans and over the ocean. The views, immaculate. Like, <laughs> you can't put money on that, man. Just, just being able to witness that and experience that. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Walk to Wealth podcast. If you're tuning in on YouTube or any of the podcast directories, make sure to do us one teeny tiny little favor and make sure to give us a follow because I don't want you to miss out on any of the amazing episodes we got coming out this year. So without further ado, let's get right into this one. All right, so if you've been tuning into the series, man, you know that we've been through quite a journey when it comes to credit cards. We just came off with the last one talking about how I got my Chase Inc. cards and how that actually kind of put me in a bad predicament trying to get welcome bonuses that I had no business trying to get after. And so let me tell you now about how I got Marriott Platinum Elite status hear that just let that sit marriott platinum elite status like <laughs> you feel me just, uh, nice little flex whatever but there's tons of different marriott uh, credit cards that you could choose from and for me the reason why i even wanted to get into hotel statuses and things like that a lot of these credit cards have points and they have travel partners that you could transfer out to so marriott is one of the chase travel partners so it um if you have the Chase Sapphire Preferred card or the Chase Sapphire Reserved, so I have the Sapphire Preferred, you could actually take the points that you get with Chase and then transfer them over at a one-to-one -one ratio to one of their travel partners. Now, Marriott, as I said, is one of their travel partners. On top of that, Amex also has some partnerships with Marriott as well. So I was like, all right, this is pretty good. And then I started thinking back on all the times I went on like little family vacations. I never really traveled too, too much. But anytime I did travel, I would always end up staying at some sort of Marriott hotel. So I was like, you know, if I'm already staying at these hotels, what does that look like if, you know, what does their loyalty reward program look like? How, what does it look like if I just invested in this and went only to Marriott hotels? So as you guys know, and if you didn't know, I went to Quantum Leap Summit back in 2022. And from there, I got six, six sessions of coaching. And after the coaching, I got access to uh, two $5,000 scholarships. And so that's in my How I Met a Billionaire and He Stole My Shoe. And um, I made 10K episodes. So if you didn't check out that series, make sure to definitely go check that out. But essentially, I got the two $5,000 scholarships. And I used that money to pay for straight conferences. I didn't buy any courses or classes or workshops. I bought tickets to a bunch of conferences and used the money for the travel. And so I knew I was going to be traveling a whole lot in 2023. Now I was like, all right, this may be my one chance to actually get some Marriott Elite Night Statics credits so that I can bump my way up the ranking and get access to all the amazing benefits. So how it started off, though, is I ended up getting the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless card. And this is a card with Chase, and they do have a small annual fee of $95. But for me, I thought it was well worth it because, one, it was the first step in this grand master scheme that I had cooking up. But two, like, look at the benefits. So the welcome offer was three free nights um, value up to 50k points after 3k spend in three months, so a thousand a month. And this is also a personal card, so if I needed help, you know, I had my best friend to help me out with the purchasing of the uh, of meeting the, the minimum. And so, from there, every year that you help hold the car, you also get a free night award and you get automatic silver elite status just for holding the card, and you also get 15 elite night credits. Now, elite night credits are essentially, normally you have to stay one night to get one credit. So, as I said, I'm platinum. Platinum, you need to stay technically 50 nights. Now, I did not stay 50 nights at a hotel this year in 2023. I don't live in hotels, right? I don't even travel that, that much to be getting anywhere near close to 50. And so, I got 15 elite night credits from there. 
And then uh, it goes silver, gold, platinum, titanium, and ambassador. And I'll get into the benefits later. And then on top of that, I get six points back, um, six percent back at Marriott Bonvoy hotels. And then I get another couple percentage back when I book and um, when I get food and drinks at any Marriott hotels as well. I get points back. So I was like, all right, this is definitely worth it. The three free night awards, it costs like maybe one fifty, two hundred minimum to stay at a Marriott hotel, depending on where you're staying. But that easily just pays off for the first three years. And then after every year, you get a free night award. So the card pretty much pays itself off without you having to do anything. You don't have to try and hit all the different spends and hit get all the different points back. Like just holding the card is well worth it, right? On top of that, I mainly wanted it for the 15 elite night credits. So that boom, that put me at silver. And then the next thing I did from there in my master grand scheme is a while later. Now, I'll talk about how I get into Amex actually in the next episode. But just know a while later, I ended up getting the Amex Marriott business card. So the reason I got that one and not another personal card is because supposedly if you get two Marriott cards, you can't. And they're both like personal. The 15 elite night credits cancels each other out. So you only get one. So let's say I got the Marriott Bonvoy balance card and the Marriott Bonvoy Bold card, which are two Chase Marriott cards. Um, they both, if I'm not mistaken, get 15 night elite credits. I'd only get the 15 nights from one of them. But because the Marriott Bonvoy business card is a business card and not a personal, then I can stack the 15 nights. At least that's what I've been told. So that's what I did. So the welcome bonus for the card was 125,000 points in $8,000 spend within six months. So if you do the math, it's like a little over a thousand a month. But guess what? I guess supposedly because I had the Chase card with Marriott that I wasn't eligible for the welcome bonus. So I didn't even get the bonus, which kind of sucked, honestly. That 125,000 points, that could that could get you a nice, a couple of nice little trips. Uh, and so, but anyways, the card gives you like six point ba- uh, six percent backs at Marriott hotels, four percent back at restaurants, gas stations, and wireless phone services. And 2% back everything else. Now, the only difference with this card and like other cards, you only get Marriott points. Like you can't transfer that out to other travel partners, if I'm not mistaken. You can only use the Marriott points for Marriott stuff. Unlike with Chase, I can get the Chase points and then transfer out to wherever. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks. But also with the Amex business card, I also get access to the best rates. Like I get a 7% room dis- uh, room rate discount on standard guest rooms. And just for holding that card, I get automatic gold status, right? So I get automatically upgraded to the second tier in the loyalty program that Maria has. On top of that, I get one free night award every year. I get 15 elite night credits and I get premium internet access just for holding a card. So for me, the little annual fee that it has, if I'm not mistaken, it's $95 or 125 if I'm not mistaken. Double check me, but either way, that easily pays itself off. With all the hotels I'm booking, I'll make that easily back in the discounts that I'm getting on the rooms. On top of that, the 15 night elite credits and one free night award every year, like it easily pays itself off. And I get access to premium internet. So now I have gold status just for holding that card. And now I have the additional 15 elite nights from the Marriott Bonvoy boundless card and then 15 elite nights from this business card that I just got. Now that puts me at 30. So now instead of having to stay 50 nights at a Marriott hotel, I only have to stay 20. And it could be any of the Marriott chains. So it could be like Rich Carlton or it could be like the West Inn or it could be Residence Inn or it could be the autograph collection that they have. Like as long as it's part of the Marriott family, I'm pretty sure it counts. And so from there, once I got that card, right, I used the money from all my conferences I mean, for my scholarship to go to all these conferences, I only stayed at Marriott hotels. So I started racking up nights, racking up nights. And then from there, I got asked to speak in Atlanta somewhere along the way. And that's another story for another day. But I pretty much, I went to Atlanta, it was September 11th to September 15th. And that put me at 49. So the day I got back from Atlanta, I just booked the hotel room, literally for the simple fact that I just wanted the extra night. Like I just wanted one more night, so I just booked the hotel. Like only 
I didn't even need it. I just wanted to get the 50 nights. And so from there, that's when I ended up getting the Marriott Platinum Elite status. That's when I got access to all the amazing benefits. And now let me tell you what you get from that. So when you book at Marriott Hotels, you get 50% bo- uh, point bonus. So let's say I booked in a hotel and it gave me, right, let me say 50,000 points, right? I'd get another 25,000 just because I'm a Platinum Elite member. I get access to 4 p.m. late checkout. So if I'm going to a conference, if I'm going to a little personal trip, I don't have to worry about waking up early. I can sleep in. Like that right there is definitely worthwhile. I get welcome gifts upon arrival at any Marriott hotels. Depending on the branch, it'll vary, but I get points, uh, breakfast, or amenities, uh, some sort of amenity. I get access to room upgrades upon availability, including suites. So if they have suites available, they'll bump me up to a suite, even if I just booked the regular room, which is amazing. I get access to 24-7 elite support. I get uh, lounge access and complimentary breakfast at hotels. So let me tell you. So I went to FinCon about a couple weeks ago from me making this video. And I was in the Sheraton over in New Orleans. And I was up on the 42nd floor with views over the entire city of New Orleans and over the ocean. And eating my breakfast and vlogging and just living life. Like the views immaculate like <laughs> you can't put money on that man there's just just being able to witness that and experience that like it may be a flex for me because i never really traveled much growing up but like damn like 42nd floor i seen over every building like <laughs> and on top of that i got free food and at conferences it's hard because you never really have time to eat like that so i mean unless you make time but then you feel like you're missing out so it's like it's always hard so i was able to get snacks and stuff like that which came in really handy and then I get five sweet night awards or access to like a thousand dollar discount on you know a, a, on a bed of that Marriott offers, so I can buy like a mattress and get a thousand dollars off. So I may be using either the five sweet night awards or the mattress because I definitely need a new mattress. Not gonna lie, like when I sleep, my back hurts sometimes. So it's, and it's either it's not a either or; it's one or the other. Like you have to get either the sweet night awards. Or the mattress discount. And there's a couple other ones that you could choose from. But I wasn't really interested in. And so um, that's just some of the beauty. Uh, like the benefits of like just being with the Marriott Bonvoy uh, Elite Loyalty Rewards Program or whatever. On top of that, most of the time whenever I go to a hotel and they check my account. And they see that I'm a platinum member. They just treat me so much better. I could be like exaggerating it but i just feel like they treat me better they, they see like oh thank you for your loyalty mr mendez and then when i go into my hotels not all the times but sometimes the tv will be on and they'll say welcome back john gold elite when but now it says welcome back john platinum elite you know so that's always nice and it's more just like the experience of being a, a platinum member and said so the, the complimentary breakfast is easily going to pay itself off and all my travel in 2024 because i'm still going to be going to conferences and stuff I'm going to be able to get complimentary breakfast. That's, like, that's going to save me so much money. I can have more flexibility with my flights because I have late checkout. I get more points back. And then on top of that, just recently for the month of um, September, Ch- Chase was giving a 50% point like bonus for every point that you send. So let's say I sent out 100,000 points. Chase will match or Marriott will match 50% of that. So I got an additional 50,000 points, literally just for transferring over. I didn't have to do anything. I just transferred my Chase points to my Marriott account, and Marriott matched 50% of that. So I got an additional 50,000 points for literally doing nothing, right? This is the beauty when you start really getting into the points and miles game, and I'm not even that deep, deep into it, right? I'm still, I'll say I'm mid. Like, I'm not the most advanced traveler. But man, these benefits are starting to get better and better. So as I start traveling more and more next year, right, it's going to be amazing. And just recently, too, I got TSA pre-check. So now I can skip the line or at least go to shorter lines. I may be thinking about getting global entry. I'm not too sure, honestly. I feel like it's kind of intrusive. Like, intrusive. like they they want to take your fingerprints and stuff like that. But honestly, for me, it's like, it saves me the hassle of waiting in line. I hate waiting in line. So F it. And so 
that's how I got Marriott Platinum Elite status. Now, the next episode, I'm going to be telling you guys, I'm be sharing with you guys how I got into the Amex ecosystem because they gave me a very hard time. My first card, I got declined, and they didn't even really give me a reason why. Called the reconsideration line, still got no reason. So I'm going to tell you guys how I got into Amex in the next episode. So I'll see you.